Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Another week has gone by and we are in week 8 of my melting challenge. My low buy collaboration where I create a theme every single week for everyone to melt in our collab. Without getting all the way into that, this week again is vendor week. Now, if you remember my first vendor week, I did vintage chic scents and this vendor week you see from the title, I am doing Rose Girls. Now, I have been very excited as well as very anxious for this week. And the reason why, I have an ungodly amount of Rose Girls wax. And more and more and more lately, I have been seeing so many performance problems. It doesn't last very long. The shelf life, well, it doesn't last very long in the warmers. The shelf life doesn't last very long with a lot of her bakery. The performance just is not there. And right here, I have over 100 mini melters. I have over 50 chunk muffins. I have so many shapes, so many half pies. I need to work through my Rose Girls. I haven't even really melted a ton of it because I've been too afraid because I want to let it sit and cure. But these things have been in my collection since August. I make these little labels. There's plenty of cure time to know if they work. So I very, very strategically planned out my basket this week. Last week for the Valentine's Day collab, I planned it out almost perfectly. I had a very little amount left this week to melt through. Super proud of myself. I ended up just... Um, finishing it off actually um, changed out my wax that day typically I don't change out my wax a lot but I picked out my nighttime melts my bathroom melts and then my main space melts and I picked out an equal amount seven of each my bathroom I added a little bit you'll see but how I'm going to work this everything besides my bathroom are her chunk muffins and if you're unaware of chunk muffins they look like this and they are like four or five, this one has four on the top and one in the middle, mini melters, and then it's an overpour. And I use her fork method where you stick a fork in the middle and it actually cuts into four pieces. So I have eight warmers in my space. I picked two chunk muffins for each day in my main space. I have a sampler that I'll go over for the bathroom, but for the main space, and then I have a chunk muffin for my bedtime melts. I will cut this into fours and use two, like two, half of it, one on each side of my bed. I have hot plate warmers. Now, I also have heard Rose Girls performs better in hot plate warmers than Scentsy warmers. I have a lot of Scentsy warmers. All the warmers behind me are Scentsy warmers. I am going to switch out these. I have three extra hot plate warmers I've been saving for this. I have two halogen bulb warmers. So, that's five. And I will be using three Scentsy Warmers to give it an opportunity. But I'm definitely not using as many Scentsy Warmers this week so I can really determine if the Rose Girls Wax performs for me. I have so much Rose Girls Wax. I will be devastated if I don't get the performance this week. And I find that doing a week of a vendor is really going to help me. I think it's really going to help me understand if the vendor works for me, if it doesn't. There is a pre-order going on now. I'm really, really hoping I don't place an order and don't fall down the rabbit hole. I mean, I'm still waiting on the customer creation pre-order and I don't even know where I'm going to stick that and that's even more mini melter bags. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed with my Rose Girls collection and I really need to melt it. Um, there's some other vendors that I definitely, I want to do a Sassy Girl Aroma Week. I want to do a, um, uh, a Destination Wax Week. I want to do another VCS Week. I'm not participating in the collab with Catherine and Casey. Um, I want to do my own thing. I have some plans on what I want to work on. But yeah, so I'm super excited to get this week. I really hope I get some scent. Please, please, please. If you pray, pray. If you think, think. Send me all the wishes for positivity this week with my Rose Girls Week. So without further ado, 
let's talk about what Drew's going to be melting this week. I think I'm actually going to start with my bedtime melts just because they're on the top. So the first I have is Cookie Land, and this is confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. I love Cookie Land. It's this slightly yeasty pretzel, butterscotch, toffee, yummy, yummy, yummy cookie scent. I am so excited to melt this. I have mini melter bags in it. I have lots of co cookie land. So this one I got on August 16th. So it is time to melt it. One that I'm not super, super excited to melt is Strawberry Slurp. And this one is Strawberry Jam, Cereal Killer, Sugar Milk, and Rice Krispie Treats. I do not care for sugar milk. It just... It's that I, I, I zone in on it whenever I smell a scent that has sugar milk in it because it's like this sour milk to me, to my nose. I know a lot of people love that sugar milk note. To me, I don't get any strawberry jam. I don't get any cereal. I get like a very creamy and then sour milk. So I'm hoping this transform in the warmers. It's before I go to bed. If there's any that I don't want to perform for me, it's that one. Charity, this one's for you, girl. This is Cotton Candy Cookie Land. I believe I got this in a Kahuna box. Um, I think so, but I'm excited to melt this. This is going to be a great bedtime melt. So it's her Cookie Land mixed with cotton candy. So you do get that butterscotchy, pretzel, yeasty, yummy, decadent bakery note with just a hint of that super sweet cotton candy. Really excited to give this guy a go. And then I have Fierce Morning Sex, and this one is Fierce, which is the Abercrombie and Fitch type, and her Morning Sex Blend, which is like a very fresh, aquatic, spa-like fragrance. And I really, really like this. You definitely get the Abercrombie Fierce, very similar to Mahogany Teakwood, but the watery, aquatic notes of the Morning Sex definitely shines through. I'm excited for this one. I hope this one is so strong it like lasts in the morning too because it's a really, really nice scent. A very classic evening scent, Peppermint Lavender Coconut Milk. I have a few muffins of this, but I definitely wanted to get one melted. This is just very pleasant. The coconut milk is very light. It's very sweet. And the peppermint is not crazy nose clearing. I think she honed, she really toned down on the peppermint oil on this. And the lavender is just sweet, a hint of relaxing, herbaceous, and that creamy coconut milk. It's definitely a very, very relaxing scent. And then we have another very relaxing nighttime scent, Good Night Moon. And this one is Pink Sugar Peppermint Sweet Lavender and Birthday Cake. I love pink sugar blends. And I love this. You definitely pick up on pink sugar and the birthday cake and the sweet lavender and peppermint. Yeah, it's very similar to the um, that peppermint lavender coconut milk. Just switch the lavender um, or switch the coconut milk to pink sugar. And pink sugar is that like sweet spun candy perfumey note. Love, it'll be a great nighttime milk. And then I think this is the last one. Um, yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the last one. Beach Bonfire. And this is Campfire Marshmallow, Vanilla Lace, and Marshmallow Fireside. This is awesome. I love the Vanilla Lace, which is a Victoria's Secret type. And you, you pick up on that. You 100% pick up on that. But the Toasted Marshmallow mixed with Marshmallow Fireside, I mean, they're really pretty much the same. There's like a smoky, rich... Um, like the marshmallows toasted on the outside, but you know, whenever you bite into it, it's still like raw on the middle. That's what this smells like with that vanilla lace Victoria's Secret type blended. Oh, this is yummy. I'm really excited for this one. And I think this will be a really nice, like unconventional evening blend. I've talked before. I like my evening melts not to necessarily be classified as evening melts. I really like bakery. I really like soothing. I really like yummy fragrances when I go to sleep at it sometimes can keep me up because I'm super hungry, <laughs> but most of the time it just really helps me relax and go to sleep. Those really comforting, warm fragrances. All right, let's move on to the main space melting. For my main space, I have 
uh, 14 mini melters, seven days of the week. I will cut each one into four, so I have eight melts, eight warmers. Now, I did pick a lot of bakery. Her bakery, I hear, doesn't last a super long time. So these were August, so August to September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December, January, January to February, so like six months. That should be plenty of cure time. But I also mixed in some fresh and some fruity to alternate the days so my nose doesn't get too used to the bakery in the house. And the first one I have two of is Fireside Cookies with Cream Cheese Frosting. So this is Warm Cookies, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cream Cheese Frosting. Now this one isn't really, it's not necessarily a favorite, but it's not anything that I would ever like gravitate towards. It kind of just smells like a marshmallow cookie, like a toasted marshmallow cookie. Like, have you seen those crumble cookies? They're supposed to be putting one or two or a few, from what I've read, like rumors, in Pittsburgh. Still hasn't opened yet, but those cookies look delicious. And this reminds me of a crumble cookie. Like those big cookies with like a toasted marshmallow frosting on the top. Sounds divine. And I hope that my apartment smells just like a crumble cookie when I pop those in my warmer. Next, I have Rainbow Road. I know this is one of Lori Brown's favorites. And this is Lime Jello, Strawberry Soda, and Blonde Moment. And Blonde Moment is like raspberry champagne. And this is nice. It's just a very fruity scent. To me, fruity gets really boring after a while. But I definitely pick up on like Lime Jello, like the Lime Jello packet. Like I smell like almost like the powdery note in here. Strawberry soda, yes, but not very effervescent. Blonde Moment, also champagne and raspberry, not very effervescent. I almost feel like the lime jello overpowers those other two notes. So it doesn't really make it as effervescent or bubbly as I might like it to be. But it's still a very nice fruity scent, and I hope it's super strong. That's the theme this week. I hope it's very strong. I have two muffins in blueberry vanilla sugar bread. Love this fragrance. Forget what it says on the notes. Blueberry cobbler, brown sugar, vanilla bean noel, and baked zucchini bread. This is the most realistic blueberry muffin I've ever smelled. 100%. Like, zucchini bread may be a hint, but it kind of makes the blueberry cobbler and the blueberry muffin so much more realistic. It kind of reminds me of, you remember back in the day, I mean, they probably still have them, but I remember at Sam's Club, they had Otis Spunkmeyer muffins, those huge, plump, Blueberry muffins. There was like blueberry, there was banana, and there was chocolate chocolate chip. I loved all of them. Uh, blueberry was my favorite. It smells just like those muffins. 150%. It smells just like big time, over the top, Texas style muffins. Casey, you're in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Including your muffins. So I definitely am looking forward to that one. Next making bread in cookie land. That cookie land scent that I love mixed with fresh baked bread and zucchini bread. So we have cookies, donuts, and toffee butterscotch pretzels mixed with zucchini bread and fresh baked bread. Hello. That's a little Carson Cole for you. Oh my god, yes. It's sm uh, the bread note in here. I love fresh baked bread. I love French baguette. I love any sort of bready, yeasty bakery note. The breadier, the better for me. <sighs> yeah, this is so good. And that cookie land, it just makes it the best comforting scent. Like, if I was selling a house, this is what I want to melt because it literally smells like the best, best baked good that's like savory is baking in your oven. I had to pick up Beloved, or for my basket, Circus Concession. I do admit, didn't get the best throw from it the last time I did it, but hoping with hot plates I get good performance. This is literally Charity Rose's signature fragrance. Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. And girl, I have so much of this. Oh, but it is so good. I've smelled so many different versions of Circus Concession, and I do, just like Charity says, Rose Girls has the best. I did order the one um, from Sassy Girl Aroma, the Sawdust Days. Really excited to try that, but... Oh my gosh. Heaven. 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 I am so excited to try this. 
and hopefully it like blows my socks off. I have Lover, so going away from the bakery for a second. This is All Nighter and Stainless Steel. It's not a favorite. Um, it's very masculine. That stainless steel is very aquatic with like a hint of almost like a pepper type of cologne. And I'm not really sure what All Nighter is. It's a very pretty set. Definitely like doesn't fit what you would expect because it's like very, very masculine cologne. -y. But I'm hoping that if I can't really smell a lot of the bakery scents, I pop this in and it like change my nose is like, oh, there's something totally different in your warmers, and I end up loving it. So we'll see. And then the last scent for my main space is Dutch Apple Pecan French Toast. And this one is Warm Dutch Apple Pie Pecans and French Toast. This is so good. This is such a rich apple. French toast, mm, I don't necessarily smell French toast. It just smells like a very fresh apple that has been caramelized with pecans and baked. Oh, I don't get any like yeastiness from the French toast, but that is a winner. I am so excited to melt that and hope it is super strong. All right. I only have a little bit left in this basket. They're not muffins. They are little chunks. And it is from a sampler for my bathroom. So let's talk about it. I have been hoarding the Rose Girls samplers forever. I don't know why. I need to melt them. And now's the perfect opportunity because I feel like with the samplers, I don't really know what I'm going to do with them because it's such a little amount of wax. And this is a clothes on the line sampler. Hello. It's... Uh, Rose Girls Week, I need bathroom melts. How perfect are these little sizes? I have two warmers in my bathroom. Yeah, it sounds excessive, but I have two warmers in my bathroom, and I have two cubes. Perfect. So, her on the clo clothes on the line is like her signature like laundry fragrance. So, a lot of these are blends with that laundry. So, let's get started. First, Zen clothes on the line. Zen, Swedish Dream Salt, and clothes on the line. Her zen is like a very like calming, salty, watery, very just calm. And I definitely smell that. The clothes on the line is very light in it. It's funny, I smelled a bunch of these as I was picking them and I'm like, wow, sometimes you really pick up on that laundry note and sometimes the other note really overpowers. Like Morning Sex clothes on the line. Her Morning Sex I talked about again is like a very aquatic, watery, fresh scent. That's exactly what I smell here. I don't even get clothes on the line. No, it's a very, very aquatic, watery blend. And then we have Satsuma clothes on the line as I drop it. Satsuma clothes on the line. Oh, I love Satsuma. I need to get speechless. I will make an exception. It's not on this pre-order, hence why I should skip it. When she offers speechless again, I am going to order. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. It's definitely a hint of laundry with a whole lot of Satsuma. I'm really excited about that one. Next, we have the Olive Branch clothes on the line. And the Olive Branch is a lush dupe, which is like a very warm, green, a little bit citrusy, but a very warm citrus. And like, I hate to say olive oil, but like kind of olive oil-esque. Oh, it's so good. And this one, again, a very small amount of laundry, a whole lot of Olive Branch, and I'm not complaining. I am complaining. Nog Champa clothes on the line. I do not like Nog Champa at all. It smells like a hippie. But here, it's so toned down, I can barely smell it. You know this is going to be like the strongest one when I pop it in the warmer. Because that's just going to be my luck. And I'm going to be like, oh, turn it off. But this is definitely going to be melting on a day I'm at work all day. So I pop it in my warmers in the morning. And hopefully by the time I get home... It loses a lot of its scent. <laughs> Nog Chomp is just not for me. Coconut clothes on the lime. Coconut's also not for me. And this is a very body care-esque coconut mixed with laundry. But, again, the laundry in here, very, very, very subtle. It's good, though. This bag doesn't want to close. There we go. 
Now this one, fluffy towels on the line. So it's fluffy towels type, which is a Yankee type, and clothes on the line. I, it smells like a very, very sweet laundry, which is interesting because fluffy towels does not smell like this. I've been struggling because I only have two large jars of fluffy towels left from Yankee. I love that fragrance so much. I hope they never, well, they already did get rid of it, but I hope the outlet never stops carrying it because I never want to be without that candle. This doesn't smell anything like it. I'll be 100% honest. Nothing at, like it at all, which is fine, whatever, but it just smells like a very sweet laundry. Sassy Girl Aroma does have a fluffy towels in her brittles, and you know I snagged that up, so I'll be curious to see. This one is Kissing by the Clothes on the Line, which is her Kissing in the Rain, which I've not tried before, mixed with Clothes on the Line. I know Lexi loves that one. Her and I were talking today as I was smelling these. This smells wet. I, I mean, I don't know how you can smell wet. But if you smelled the fresh spring morning candle from Bath & Body Works, you know what I'm talking about. It has this, like, wet smell to it. It's weird. Yeah, it smells wet. I don't know. It's very interesting. It's like a sweet, wet smell. I don't get any clothes on the line. Well, I don't know. And then cotton candy clothes on the line. This always is funny to me because I remember in Danny's video, she talked about when she smells cotton candy fragrances, it makes her, like... Feel like she needs to wash her hands because cotton candy is like so sticky and gross. Couldn't agree more. And it does. It smells like sweet spun cotton candy. And it's interesting because it's kind of like a um, what do they call that? Not a hyperbole. Oxymoron? Is that it? Where like super sweet, sticky, you need to wash your hands mixed with like clean laundry. Kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. It'll be interesting when it melts. I do like cotton candy. It's not one that I'm ever like, oh my god, I need all the cotton candy in my life. But there we go. That was my Rose Girls melting basket. I know, I know, I know. I need to film my empties. I've just been so busy with work and so busy with just life, you know? So I'll get to it eventually. I have all my empties and the thoughts are still in my head. Maybe, it'll be, maybe I will do like an epic empties and like sort of, I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, that was my video. Let me know who are, you are choosing for your vendor of the week. Super excited to find it if you're participating. As always, subscribe. Hit that notification bell right down here in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all so much. You matter. Bye, guys.